Number 12, how large an expansion gap should be left between steel railroad rails if they may reach a maximum temperature 35 degrees Celsius greater than when they were laid. The original length is 10 meters. All right, so we know as things heat up, right, objects will expand. Um, now, all objects are basically going to expand in three dimensions. Um, so everything has a volume expansion. However, though, we can manipulate, right, these uh, alpha values. Uh, the alpha here, this is two alpha, and then beta is essentially three alpha. So we can, uh, we can manipulate the linear coefficient of thermal expansion so that we can find length, area, and volume changes, okay? Uh, now on this one, uh, we are going to, the rails will expand, like I said, in all three dimensions, but we're primarily concerned with just the length, okay? Now when we uh, perform a, a problem like this, and by the way, these rails, right, there are there is no constraint on any side of this. It's not like the prior problem we did with number 11. I highly suggest you look at that and please listen to the discussion on that problem. Uh, I wanted to develop an idea there that is very, very important. Okay. So, um, all right. So now we, we are finding the linear change. So we have the change in length will be equal to the linear coefficient of thermal expansion multiplied by that initial length multiplied by the change in temperature. So the change in length here uh, is going to be and that's really what they're asking us because they're saying how large of an expansion gap should you leave here at this location? Well, I want to know how long each of these rails will change. Okay, I want to know their, their total change in length. All right, so now let's plug in some of the values, okay? So remember, each rail here is 10 meters long. So this one rail is 10 meters and this one rail is 10 meters. So Plugging in our values now, we have 12 times 10 to the minus 6. That's the linear coefficient of thermal expansion for steel multiplied by the initial length of 10 meters times the change in temperature. So it said that the new temp that the maximum temperature will be 35 degrees Celsius greater. So that, that sounds like a change in temperature to me, right? So we plug that in. And now we have the change in length will be equal to, so there's going to be 12 times 10 to the minus 6 times 10 times 35. So the uh, change in length here, and this will be in meters, is going to be 0 0.0042. And that is, uh, how many six feet? Yeah, I guess two because we got two over here. So that's going to be meters. All right. Now, this length here, this length right here will change by 0 0.0042 meters. Well, does that mean that it's going to change from this location downward uh, by 0 0.0042 meters? Why, what about this part expanding? Actually, it will expand in both directions, right? So this is the total length change. And what that means is that basically, this change in length at the top, okay, will be half of the change in length of the total. Same thing here, that this change in length down here will be half the amount of the total change. So this is the total change. All right, that's the total change. So now if I wanna find just this little bit of change, I can take that, take this answer and divide it by two. So when we do that, we get now the change in length, I'll write sub one side, meaning on one side of the uh, rail will be now 0 0.0021 meters. Okay, that's cool. Now, remember you have another rail down here. So the same thing, it's still 10 meters, okay? We have to now think the same along the same lines. This end of the rail will change again by half of the total. So again, this rail will change by the same amount. Now if both rails change by these half values of the total, then obviously the gap in between here better be at least two of these distances. Right, which is the exact same as the total change in length. Right, but I didn't want you to just I didn't want to just say, well, here's the answer. I want you to think about it. All right. So the total change in length, the the gap that should be left, okay, between the two rails is this answer. But now hopefully we understand why this is the answer. Okay, well, that does it for me. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Appreciate it very much. Please remember to subscribe, help us out. We really do appreciate it very much. 
All right, we do hope that you're finding a lot of value with these videos. Uh, definitely trying to do my best to pick apart the sometimes the nitty gritty of this, uh, these concepts. I think it's important. And some other problems like temperature conversion, eh, who cares, right? That stuff's easy. We're breezing through it. Um, but in problems like this, I definitely want to take a little time to make sure you understand the concepts. So, I, again, I appreciate it. If you can subscribe, that'd be awesome. And uh, tell your friends too. Thank you very much.